Hello and welcome. Another Tuesday, another cell tutorial. And this is about Power Query. It's an advanced Power Query tutorial. And it's about one of those so often missed uh, feature of Power Query, and that is lists. Now, lists are extremely powerful. And today I'm going to show you just how powerful they are with two functions. It will be list intersect and list count. Uh, but what here's here's a scenario. So we have a table of work hours, right? So each day, each and every employee, we have four, John, Paul, George, and Ringo, they clock in. So they say, well, today I did eight hours, or they say, well, I'm going on a leave, and that will be 80 hours. Well, what do these 80 hours actually mean? Well, usually it looks like this, right? I say, well, look, I want to start my leave on the, well, let's say on the 1st of October, like this, and I want to end my leave on the 11th, and that would be my 80 hours. Well, 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 okay. The problem is, right, this is how usually these applications work. So all I know is, so Paul on the, on the 1st of October took 80 hours of leave. But how many days or hours that actually is because you see if i go from here to here there are a lot of days in between now some of those days could be working days but some of days could those could be non-working days right and usually these applications or this kind of forms don't take account of that they just give you well this is the distance he selected so this is what i'll give you um, right, and this just goes on to the fourth, so the second and the third were actually weekends. And then on the fourth, John took a leave of 10 days, George was still working hard, and same on the fifth and the sixth, right? So what we want to kind of find out is, well, how many days or hours of leave do we assign to Paul, Ringo, and John in October? That, that is our question. And what we need to do is kind of say, okay, so 10 days from this one, what, what, are, what are those days, right? List those days. And then figure out if they're here under no. Right? And let's just see how we're going to solve that. So we're going to solve that with Power Query. So we're going to go take data from here. And we get this one. And then we'll basically just duplicate it. And on this one, I'll say this is non-work days, right? But it will not be this, and it will definitely not be this. It will be this one. Right? And now I'll do just to know that's the one, those are the ones that I need. And if this would be whole numbers, that would be brilliant. And over here, you're going to see why we need the whole number. So thus far, I'll just say these are dates because they actually are, right? So just turn these into dates. But now I need a list of, so start with this day and then go 10 days out and give me a list of those, right? So let's see how we do that. What we're going to utilize is this. You can always create a list by going curly brackets, one dot dot 10, right? This is as basic as you can get. It's a list of one to 10. So if I look at what I got, I got a list of one to 10. Let's make that bigger. So there you go. But I don't want a list of one to 10, right? What do I want? Well, I want a list of, so start off with number dot from, Right, number dot from this date. So take a, make a number out of that because this creates a list of numbers, not dates, right? That's why we turn those into numbers so that we can compare the two lists. So number from date dot dot, and then we go number dot from, again, from the date, like this, plus, and then we're going to say, do the hours leave 
divided by eight, like this. And let's just close that off. And let's close this off, All right? So we say, okay. And what we get is lists where there are, you know, where they took leave and errors where they didn't. And these errors are just, you know, they're a nuisance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, well, you know what? Try to do this. And if you don't succeed, so otherwise, just give me a no. Right, looks kind of better. So now I have my lists and now I have this one. And now I have a list of all of those dates. And now I need to figure out which one of these intersect with these. And I use the intersect on purpose here because that's exactly the function that we're going to use. So we have a list. And this is basically also a list, right? So I'm going on this. If you ever just select a single column, remove everything else, what you get is a list of items in that column, right? So I have two lists and now I want to compare them. And what I'll do is I'll create a custom column and I'll say, I'm looking for list dot intersection, right? Uh, sorry, intersect. So list dot intersect. And then it wants a list as list. So what I'll need are curly braces again. And then the first list is actually the custom column over here. That is my first list. And then the second list will be my non-working days, the date column from that. So non-working days like this. And just the date column from that. So that is my second list. And now let's just close this down. And let's close this down. And let's see what we get. The non working days. Yeah, that's because I call them the non work days. Okay, non working days. There you go. Okay. And now again, I have lists, but mostly they're errors, right? Whereas this one, it gives me something. So they're either errors or they're actually lists. So wherever there is a list here, I do get a list. So three of those 10 days that he applied for are non working. So he basically applied for seven days of leave, right? And that is list dot intersect a brilliant thing. But now let's take it a step further. Let's say, okay, well, that's cool. But let's just do a list dot count of that, right? A list dot count of list dot intersect. And what you get is what this is basically is the number of non working days within these, right? And again, we get errors, right? And we know why because of the nulls. Um, so let's just try and fix those errors. And we'll do it the same way we did before. So we'll say, well, try to do this. And in case you don't make it. So otherwise, just give me a zero, right? Because that also works. It's the number of days, right? So this is leave in days. And now I could also have, oh, sorry, this is actually the number of non working days within those. So if I wanted this to be a leave in days, what I would need to do here is I would actually need to do a working so hours leave leave divided by eight minus whatever that gives me. So these are actually the number of days that they took real leave and the others were non working days, right? So this is my number of days. And now if I want hours, I'll just go custom column. I'll take the leave days and I'll multiply that by eight and I'll call this leave hours like this. Let's be hours. There you go. 
right? So this is my leave in days, this is my leave in hours. A very simple task that could be so much more complicated, right? Because these, you could take this as a multidimensional problem because I have a single row that contains a list. So it's actually 10 rows. Um, and then I would, if I had those 10 rows, I could then do a VLOOKUP sort of thing to this one, uh, you know, but over here, I'm doing it much simpler, much cleaner. And that is your list.intersect and list.count functions doing the work. So I'll remove this and I'll actually remove this one also because it's not correct. So this is the correct number of hours of leave that we have to account for in October for these people. And this is the exact number of days that we have to account for these people in October. So now let's close and load two, or actually I have two of them. So I'll close and load two. Nothing. And then I'll do a just load this one. Load it into a table right here. And this is my end result. There it goes. Okay, so that was an advanced power query tutorial with just two simple functions, list.intersect, list.count, um, but doing amazing work, right? Doing amazing work and solving a problem that does appear very often as I, as I do, uh, you know, different courses in HR uh, for people from HR, they usually have this exact problem. So how do I calculate the exact hours on leave with that? And it, you could even take it further because sometimes uh, if people only work half time or something like that. So this is brilliant. Having a solution that says, well, okay, you know what, if this is wrong, if this is the wrong list of dates, let's compare it to this one that will be able to tell me which dates are wrong per se, and then I'll get a correct list of dates. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <music> you.